Lenny Falcone takes the baton now to conduct one of the most exciting pieces of music of all of my years. This Don Costa arrangement of the Fred F. John Candor love song to the city that never sleeps and the ball team that lost. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. These vagabond shoes. They are longing to stray right through the very heart of it. New York, New York. I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep and find I'm king of the hill, top of the heap. My small town blues, they are melting away. I will make a brand new start of it in old New York if I can make it there I'll make it anywhere it's up to you New York New York Step out of bounds quick, the sidelines is lined with casualties who sip the life casually, then gradually become worse. Don't fight the apple eve, caught up in the in crowd. Now you're in style, and in the winter gets cold, in vogue with your skin out. City of sin, it's a pity on a whim. Good girls going bad, the city's filled with them. Mommy took a bus trip, now she got a bust out. Everybody ride her, just like a bus route. Hell Mary to the city, you're a virgin, and Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church. Came here for school, graduated to the high life. Ball players, rap stars, addicted to the limelight. Empty in May, got you feeling like a champion. The city never sleeps, better slip you an ambient. The city that never sleeps. Yes, we are coming here from New York. We're brand new. We're inspired you. We're in New York. Ik ben mijn leider in de herden op zee, vrij aan mijn roof. 
Code of Fire begins. Hello. Yes, welcome back here, Tell 10 to Tell 10, we're back on the air, retweet to retweet. Head soon for this crackpot, Don G. Running out of fag papers, shocker, isn't it? <laughs> Did you like that last call there? I think we should get that lassie back on. Adriana! <laughs> Adriana, you're rocky. Good afternoon, we're in trouble, how may I assist you? Hello, Adriana. Yes. Hi, it's Rocky here. Oh, hey, sir, how can I help you? Yes, I've decided I'm on the next plane. I'm flying out at four in the morning, so I will see you tonight, Adriana, yeah? Tonight, I think it will take more than two nights for you to see me. It's a long, it's a long flight. No, no, we're going Concord. I have just bought the old Concord. <laughs> I am flying out. I will be there in five hours. <laughs> tomorrow night. I'm talking tomorrow night. Today in Glasgow, it's three in the morning. Three in the morning. So by three in the morning, Glasgow time, it will be tomorrow night, 24 hours. Can you get me married by then? We'll try. Okay. And then, then then I will bring brochures of Scotland. What why do you, can I ask why you want to come to Scotland? Oh, because I just find it a fascinating country and very historical. It is, it's very historical, yeah. I I was I was very keen to find out more by it. I'm sorry to phone you back, Adriana. Just when you said you wanted to come to Scotland we're keen to I thought because for me I am very keen to leave Scotland. I want to leave Scotland today, tomorrow, and never come back. Really? Just, Why? It's a nice country. You're better off in Europe than here. No, I don't think so. I no, the United so. States is very difficult. It's not, it's not as wonderful as you see it on TV. You reckon? Oh, yeah. But, I'm well, sure of bad? that. What's bad about it? It's the truth. America, it's not. It's not. It's very difficult right now. The economy is terrible. My There's goodness. hardly any jobs, My goodness. especially from your somewhere else. It's very difficult. My goodness, I, I I've heard some places I've got like soup kitchens. Is that correct? I'm not sure. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, there's a bit a bleak picture. I mean, in Las Vegas, where you are, is 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 people as are homeless people? Oh yeah, many. Many, many. You see that all everywhere. Oh my goodness, I didn't. Know I am that. sure you don't see them in Scotland. Oh yeah, they have got homeless people in Scotland. But not not too many, right? No, they have. But the, but uh, what what happens every year? The winter comes and everybody dies because if you leave someone out in the cold, you ain't going to last too long. So yeah. The, but every year there's more homeless people to be left on the streets to die, and then the government. They, they they flood the streets of Glasgow with heroin and then people take this and people die at a young age and terrible terrible things happen in Scotland, yeah. It's not it's not all happy days with whiskey and mountains and golf. There's there's bad stuff here in Scotland, yeah. Homeless people and and we don't get nice weather. We we, we get cold, cold weather here, Adriana. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I'm all very aware of that, yes, that's true. And what what, what what temperature is it over there just now? Right now is, give me just a second, let me tell you. Is 100 Fahrenheit, which no. will be, yeah, it's very hot. So it's like about, what, 35 uh, Celsius, something like that, 37 maybe? And you, you, this. Basically, in the desert, yeah, isn't it? Basically, Nevada is in the desert. Yeah, 
Eh, las ves en el desert, however, when you come here, you don't see it like it's in a desert because we have green, you know, we have trees, we have a lot of different things. We have a lot of water, but um, so it doesn't make, it's a, a main, man-made city, so there's a lot of things that, you know, they bring here, so it, we, it could look like a more tropical setting. Okay, I hear you. Yeah, I I also heard that the water that they're taking to feed Las Vegas they're taking it from other sources, and I don't know. I think it was one of like, the Discovery Channel on National Geographic. Yes, and, uh huh. And they were saying that the water they were taking, it was it was causing the land to sink. Is it, did you hear something about that, or do you know anything about that, Adrian? I know, I know that there, we're getting water from somewhere else. One of the sources is the Colorado River, um, and um, I think uh, some part of us, a state called Utah. But I'm not sure if it's sinking or not, so I'm not a, I'm not aware that I'm could, could could be possibly be yeah. Yeah, because I'm sure there was the, the yeah something that you said there about Colorado, wherever the water's been taken from, and the part where Las Vegas is, I I think is a, a geologist or some of the studies of land saying you know it's kind of almost like sinking or part of it, you know. So, I oh I. My goodness. I I don't want to frighten you, know, but I, I bet, I better get my wife over there, my bride to be, and get married quick before it, it sinks too much. <laughs> <laughs> it sinks too much. My plane might not be able to land, Adriana. I came into the plane, you know, and, and <laughs> us, us Scots people with our big, you know, haggis and kilts and and drums and all that, you know, we might uh -huh. sink it further down. Yeah, a hundred, hundred degrees. Oh my goodness, that is too hot. I, I better wear my light version of the kilt because the, yeah. the Scottish version, the kilt, is yeah. very heavy. So I better get my light, almost see-through kilt on if I'm coming there. You know. <laughs> but you, don't worry, it won't be. I won't be fully see-through. But but you know the the thing is the problem is they say that a Scotsman wears nothing under his kilt. But if you ever go to a wedding wearing a kilt. All the uh -huh. ladies want to pull up your kilt to see if you're a true Scotsman. I know, I know that. I know I'm that not... very much. Yeah. So what I do, I don't wear kilts, and if I was to, I'd wear a pair of pants saying I'm not true Scottish. I'm just half Irish. You know. Ah, <laughs> okay. Keeps them away, you know. But it's terrible. It's terrible. You you can't walk about Scotland wearing your national dress without being assaulted by women. All they want to do is just pull up your kilt. It's terrible. <laughs> and, poor and so, men, huh? Poor men, us poor men, you know. And and so if I was to come and get married in a kilt, w would that be okay? Oh, yeah, we do that all the time. You do? Is a is a daft oh, yeah. Scottish? Is a daft oh, Scottish yes. people? How oh, many yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. How many daft Scottish people have you married this week? Not this week in particular. We just have a, a, a bride about two days ago. They, f they were from Ireland, Northern oh, Ireland. Lovely. Um, My family's from but Ireland. We have uh, maybe about two weeks ago, we had some people from uh, from Scotland. Oh, lovely. So two days ago, you had somebody from Ireland. Whereabouts in Ireland? Yeah. You... Northern Ireland. I'm not, I think they were from Belfast. I'm not, I'm not quite Belfast. sure. Was her name Billy? Uh, uh, no. No. You get our names. What was our names? Because we can we can tell right away if 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 there, if there were zombies were they, were they handsome? Was the man, was the gentleman handsome? Was the woman pretty? The woman was not pretty. There were zombies then. <laughs> 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 My God, you should have refused them. You shouldn't have let them in the door. My God, have you have you have you washed yourself since? You should need to get cleansed because if you've touched them and, and performed that ceremony. That's uh, I. If, uh, did you get the names? Tell me. You must tell me a name because if you've if you've married them, then you know this. The, I I think I have to find another chapel. Uh, her name is Leanne. Leanne, well, uh, is is this a chapel? Or is it a church? We are a chapel. Is it a Catholic chapel? It's a non-denominational. People from all types wow. of uh, beliefs could come here. So we don't have, we don't project you know it's we do Elvis ceremonies mostly and it's non denominational. You do Elvis? Oh yeah, that's what we call the Elvis Chapel. Are you the Elvis Chapel? Yeah. Oh, love me tender. Listen, yeah, absolutely. 
So what 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 happens in the Elvis Chapel? Do you do you do you sing "Love Me Tender" and "Love Me Do"? Or, yeah. Or do you... Why don't you go to our website so you can see where we are? What's the website? www.elvischapel.com. Elvischapel.com. Wow. So what what if I was to come as dressed as uh, uh, Richie Valens? Or, or, you or can someday. come dress as whatever you want, as long as you have clothing on. That that's what that's all that matters. Can I wear invisible clothing? In, <laughs> invisible? I'm afraid not. It's like the emperor's new clothes. I will be designed special clothes that only I can see. You will not be able to see it, but I will see. I will have it on, but you won't be able to see. You may think I will be naked, but I will have some clothes on. Surely that's legal. <laughs> no, that would not be legal. Okay. What well, time is have... it in Scotland right now? It's uh, time I was in bed. It's half past three. Oh, my Lord. And what are you doing up so late? Phoning you. <laughs> 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 what, are you what are you doing up so late as well? What, is it not past your bedtime, Adriana? No, it's 7 p.m. here on, on the Wednesday night. And what time do you shut up? So what? What time do you close your Elvis Chapel at? We'll be closing in one hour. Well, have you have you not have you got someone else to marry? We have a ceremony going on right now, and we have one next at eight, 8 p.m. Can I listen in? To, can I can I hear the ceremony happening just now, please? Go to the website and click on live webcam. Oh, can you can I not hear it just now? Can, I am not. I can't get yeah, to the can, web. You, you you don't have access to the website right now. No, that's why I was saying. Can I hear it through the phone here? No, minutes? because our office where I'm talking to you from is completely separate from the main chapel. Okay, okay. Oh, so it's on there? Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes, sir. Ah. So, yes, I, I, I... No, sorry sorry for asking so many questions about your that's wonderful okay. place, Adriana. It's just... I, I, I have been fascinated about your country for a, a long time now, and I, I think Boy, I should... I'm, I'm not American, by the way, so... But I've been here many, many years. Are you from Venezuela? Nicaragua? No, I'm from Colombia. I was going to get there. You were supposed to tell me I was going to get there. <laughs> I thought, I will get there. I, 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 I was just, I thought, you know, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Colombia. Hold on, I, I'll tell you. Bogota? You from Bogota? No, I'm from Cali. I was, you were supposed to tell me that. I was going to say... <laughs> That was the next one I was going to say. I was going to say Venezuela, and then I was going to go to Colombia, and then I was going to go Bogota, and then... Uh, how, by how do you know I was Hispanic? That because was a, good a, guess. a beautiful accent like yours, what are you going to be? You're not going to be Scottish, are you, with an accent No, like no. <laughs> of course not. I'm, going to, I'm not going to say, oh, she might be Irish. She, she could be... You know, of course, yes, yeah, wonderful, from Colombia. So how long have you been in the USA for? 22 years. I was here, I came here when I was 10. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And you like it then, yeah? Well, that's all, this is all I know, so... The American basically. dream? Are you, you're living the American dream, is that what you're saying, Adriana? I'm trying. I'm trying to reach the American dream, but it's, uh, it's not it's that hub. easy. But too much taxes, too many bills? Uh, it... Sometimes, yes. Not yeah. enough time for nothing. I hear you, sister. I hear you. This is why I want to escape Scotland. But I was wanting to escape to go to America. So you're saying I come there, I'm going to be in the same situation? You're going to be probably in a worse situation. Worse? How worse? Oh, yeah. How worse? Why worse? Because like I said, in Scotland, it's a better country overall. Have you been to Scotland? No, but my cousin lives in London and she's been to uh, Scotland a few times. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I've got fi family been to the USA and I've got friends over there and, and they tell me different story as well, you know, from... Yeah, I understand. There's, there's good, listen, there's good and bad everywhere, Adriana, you know, just... Just, I think that you stay... If you stay in one place for so long, then you see more of its faults and then... Yes, look, maybe I'm being misty-eyed and saying, oh, I want to go to... I, 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 you see, what I, I would maybe... No, up until recently, I would never say I want to go to live in America, USA, yeah? I, I, but now the more people I speak in your land,
I want to visit the land because I find the people who live in that country. I know you're saying from Colombia, you know, but you're a wonder. You you have got the same, you know, North American thing about you, you know. So I I don't know. Something about that country makes me want to visit just just to meet the wonderful people who who stay there. Well, you know? just come come here for visits. Just come to visit and and, and then check it out. Maybe you will like it, or maybe not. Well, send me the send me the money for the plane, and I will be there tomorrow. <laughs> Send me the money. I'll come tomorrow. I'm 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 standing here waiting in line for my soup tomorrow. I I'm here on the breadline. So I've I've just borrowed this phone. Have you heard of Donald Trump? Yeah. I borrowed his phone. He was over, and I said, Donald, can I borrow your phone to phone back home? And he, he so I'm sitting here freezing my binoculars off here, and and old Donald's just walking about. Oh Lord. But anyway, listen, I'll let you go, Adrian. I'm sorry to have bothered you. You're a very nice girl. So you take no care. No problem. You so too, you've, sir. You've, you've no sisters in, in, in Colombia? That, have you any sisters or, or friends in Colombia that want to marry a Scotsman? Stroke Irishman? Oh, I'm sure there's many, many of them. Have you? Can you put me in contact with them? No, I don't know. I don't know exactly who. You have to find it on the internet. I'm not sure how. How, how do you find a lovely lady from Colombia on the internet? Can you tell me that? Search on Google for Colombian wife. Colombian wife? There must be yeah. better than that. Tell, hook me up. Tell me how to hook me up with a Colombian wife, Adriana. That I don't know. I mean, that's that's all I know. <laughs> so, would, would, can I, what, what, one last question: If I wanted to find a wife, you've lived in Las Vegas. You've lived in Colombia. What was the city in Colombia again called? Try to guess it again. Cali, Cali, Cali. Yeah, Cali. there you go. How did you say it? Yes, correct. You said it correct. Cali. Yes. So, what was the best place to find a wife? The one in Colombia or the one in Las Vegas? To find a nice, well-rounded girl who is very nice and kind, not too many airs and graces, just nice. Where's the best place in Las Vegas? Or you, you... no, in Colombia. You reckon? Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm going to Colombia. Is it safe in Colombia for me to go there, a white person? Oh okay. yeah. Oh yeah. That, that is just um, propaganda. It's just, it's safe like any anywhere, anywhere else. When you go to a bad part, it's you know it's bad. If you go to a good part, you won't have no problems. I hear you. I hear you. Sounds good. Okay, listen. I am very sorry to have bothered you. You take care, Adriana. Yeah. Yeah, you too, sir. I, you I have won't a bother you again. I won't bother again tonight. It's been lovely talking to you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Listen, you ready? Bye. Yeah, it's been on the way to Columbia. Oh, yeah. Sat guy, we're told. Stay clear of Las Vegas. Anybody get me a hold of Columbia? Columbia will send a parcel back. <laughs> Not in your freaking life. I send anything back. Uh, don't believe the hype. Yeah, she said that you heard it there from Adriana. Do not believe the hype. She's a lovely lady. That was a lovely lady. Absolutely wonderful. Eh? Colombian in Las Vegas. In the Elvis Chapel. Woof. Right, and don't any use crackpots be going down searches in Google. Leave the lassie alone, okay? Leave her alone. She's married. Right, don't get people into trouble, come on. Get me into trouble, you fangitas. Right, we're the wizards. We're no wizards of the Sonic, we're wizards of the crackpots. Tell ten to tell ten.
shit out to the band pots there. Throwing it down a walk down, this is Jack Pop by Diggle. Throwing a walk down here. Shout out to all the stompers and HMP Balini. HMP Balini stompers, giving it your all day. Come on. This is Kinak Pottery at its finest. We're on a walk down here all the way through the night. With Irene Cara, what a feeling. Don't go anywhere. Tell 10 to tell 10. feeling and take that passion and go and watch that video if you want. Yeah, it's what a passion you'll get with that feeling, I'll tell you that for nothing. But hey, calm it down with a Muppet show. Calm down. Don't care me and Miss Piggy. Chill with it. Music. Time to get things started. I love that wee bit there at the end. You gotta love it. A bit of the old care me the froggy. It's time to get things started. It's time to get things started. Oh, the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational. It's a Muppet show here tonight, tribute act. We've ordered costumes from the Henshin Creature Shop with my man, what was his name, Jerry? 
I've spoke to that many different Yankee Doodle Dandies in the last week or so. I've lost count. Who have we spoke to? We've spoke to... Oh. We've tried to buy cars, rent cars, houses, hotels, marijuana experts, now adding to the list there, Elvis, Elvis Chapel that helped Billy and Leanne get married for Columbia. And uh, brothels, 24-7-365 brothels, strip clubs, we've asked for Victor Maitland to be shouted out. <laughs> we've asked for Victor Maitland in a strip club on the outskirts of LA to get fucking shouted out. <laughs> and then we'll be phoned back. The guy, the guy didn't like that, didn't know when we phoned back. So I've lost count, I don't know fucking how many I've phoned. Guys, geezers, lasses, heteros, homos. There was even one time somebody put me through a homosexual place, wasn't it? And I had to decline, I'm not that way inclined, no. Each to their own, as they say. So we've been everywhere, from state to state, we're trying to get funding. So we're trying to get funded, so I just, I've lost count what we're trying to do here, right? We've got our finger dipped in that many American pies. I guess we just need to save up the money and get me over there. Right? So let's do it. Are we getting a whip round? Is there any brain dead zombies out there who want to donate and get me out there? Get rid of me. Send me to the Las Vegas chapel. If I get me out there to the Medellin cartel to get me a lovely Colombian... But the only thing is, if I take a Colombian blade, That'll not be able to get me a, a green card. See that, Adriana, that's the way forward. I'm going dressed up there as Elvis. With a straw hanging out my nose. <laughs> I'm going there with a straw hanging out my nose, dressed as Elvis. See, Adriana, hook me up, Beard, hook me up. Let's get wired to the moon, my marry your sisters. Tell her to get some Colombian flake rattled on her titties, because this straw is getting all the way over it. <laughs> Oh, I'll be rough that shit. That is disgraceful. That cocaine is one lethal, evil, bastard drug. Don't take it, kids. Don't take it. Stay well away. I can't encourage that. No, sorry. Well, sorry. Listen, it's each to their own, as we say. It's each to their own. I'm not going to tell anybody about their sexuality, their drug taking, or whatever. Each to their own. But I'd, I went into the bit there and tried to almost glorify it, but I had to counter that. Like a good BBC presenter would and give it the downside, you know. But in reality, it's each to their own. But what I will say is heroin gets a worse press and a, a far worse rap than coke. And okay, yeah, for certain reasons, heroin is a bad, heavy drug and has done much damage. But what is the delusional drug is cocaine. People think that it's not doing them a problem, okay? People think that they can get away with taking it and they're not a junkie, okay? They're not on the junk, the smack, but they're on a substance that is highly addictive. Not physically, because it doesn't get into every red blood cell. So what you're finding in, uh, is that people who take cocaine, yeah, fine. There's people who are just weekend abusers. Again, fine, they, they can leave it during the week. It's each to their own. The problem becomes it, it's a delusional drug. You don't know where you stand with it, really. You really don't know where you stand. At least if you know you're on the junk, you, you know you're heading to oblivion with that. You're just you're getting mashed out permanently to the moon. And having done that for a period of my life, both of these drugs, both of them, powerful substances, powerful, addictive in their own way, in different ways, Heroin gets into all your blood cells and becomes dominant and you crave it. Cocaine and a mental side. Cocaine. So, but what is more dangerous, what is worse? You can be mentally addicted to something and you still can't get off it just the way you can for uh, heroin. It's still the same, what's the difference? If you take it, it's going to kill you. Eventually. But then, breathing too much of the wrong air from a, a plant that makes the wrong chemicals living next door to you will have a, 
adverse effect. Living next to pylons, electricity pylons, has high instances of leukemia in children. We don't know the actual proof of telephone mass of the damage that they're causing or can cause, but hey, they're putting them everywhere and even top of schools. It's a heavy world we live in. One in two humans will get cancer in their life. One in two. Can you add them and even? We're all going to go sometime. I believe that this is a transitory experience. We move from A to B from this life to the next. And what we do and fill our lives with in this life, we'll end up delivering us to our final abode. And hell slap it into you if you don't take the warning. I'm probably not taking the warning, phoning up brothels for all use crackpots. I should be a better person instead of pandering to the base needs of a bunch of half-witted fangitas sitting there bonged up to their eyeballs and flannel juice with gibberish coming out their ears with me. So you're bonged out your tits, stoned out your dial, we'll just look at these crackpots here. Use a bunch of shape-shifting reptilian smoke fiends. What you's all about. Right, Martin. Big shout out to Martin Hooper. James Mena. Uh, Peter Boy. Here's a five pound to start you off. <laughs> Don G. The True Blues, RSC, The Fox and Hounds. Oof. Kearney Avenue, New Jersey. Was that, there was somebody I phoned that was in Kearney Avenue. What was in Kearney Avenue? The was that? The Kearney RSC, Coopstone Masonic Temple. Oof, I can't even, I can't, I can't even be bothered. I can't even bother phoning a Masonic place tonight. I want, I, I, I honestly, I can't. I don't want to go down the Masonic side. Would you want me to talk with the ambassadors for? I know I could, but no, no, no. Leave that off to keep away from me from the Masonic side. I can't be asked. Is it a strip club? Well. Well, where does it say strip club? What are you talking about? True Blues RSC Ventura Boulevard Studio City Coopstein What's that? Don G <laughs> Trumpet.com Right, hold on. Let me see what I've got here. Just checking the Twitter line here if it's starting to slow down. Regurgitated, hold on, I've said a lot of this. All the enterprises who are threatening Rangers with a winding up order to the 9th of February, aye. Right, sorry, somebody just put this up here. I've just, I thought it was something new there, it's alright, sorry, something new. Hold on, let's see, was this August? Hold on, let me see. Ah, hold on, nothing 
Let me see. So I'm just reading so I don't need to read that later, I don't need to read that later, that looks quite interesting. Interesting indeed, what you see late night on Twitter. Sorry, it doesn't make good radio when you're reading something there on Twitter, but hey, c'est la vie. This isn't no burger chain radio, we go with the flow here, this is Crackpot FM. This ain't no shyster radio, we just run with the flow. And we're back again. Temporary loss here. Another temporary loss. That's two temporary losses in the last couple of minutes. Hopefully it won't persist. What is going down? That one there. I suppose I could close that. Right. I'll maybe come back to that later. Time to close some of these here. Close them down. Close them down. Right. Silence is golden. No sound. Are we back now? Are we back now? We are back now, tell me you can hear us. Yes, intermittent sound, intermittent sound, I understand, I hear you. Can you hear me now? Are we going live now? Tell me you can hear me now, crackpots. Tell me you can hear me now, come on. Right. Silence is indeed golden, silence is golden. Right, what time is it? Four bells? Do you know what? I crashed out earlier on when I was watching. That's two Champions League semi-finals in a row when I've crashed out. Tonight I didn't even make it to see the half-time break. So I don't even know what the score was. Well, I didn't know until somebody told me. They get beat 3-0. Shocking. Barcelona, 4-0 and 3-0, who would have thought it? So, an old German final. For the first time in 12 years, will a German team put its name on a trophy, an international trophy, club or country? And they've had to do it with two teams being in the final. Bayern Munich, will their bottle crash? Who's saying Borussia Dortmund? Two wonderful, fine German teams. A young... Crafted uh, Borussia Dortmund team or an international high expenditure, no expense spared Bayern Munich team, soon to have a Barcelona great as manager next season. Will he walk into the European champions? Place your bets now, please. Rocky Bats is back from the refugee camps. <laughs> the old Rocky. Should we phone him? Should we phone Rocky Bats? Who wants to hear the Rocky Bats? We try and phone him. Let's try and get Rocky Bats on the phone, yo. Rocky! We've got Rocky here, come on. Tell me I saved his number. Maybe no, maybe no, maybe no. Unless it's on the old Twitter. Hold on, let me see. On the old message for Rocky Boy. If 
zwar halt hier. Ich sehe, ich sehe, ich sehe mir die Verpüren. Für eine Halle. Hold on, let me tell you. Um, let's see, let's see. No, sorry folks, I thought I was ringing. No, no, it wasn't ringing at all. Shit. Thought it was, sorry trip, sorry, that's oh, not doing it. I thought that was going through there, so let's see if I do... 6-6, six, six. let's see, maybe it might come up. Right, so that guy, I was going to end up phoning the UK. I don't want to wake anybody out of their beds. I don't want to wake somebody out of their beds. Right, where are we going here? Where are we going? Right, we're going to phone up. Where are we going to phone in the USA? Any ideas? Tell 10 to tell 10. Okay. Writing a screenplay now. Who's, that? Who's writing a screenplay? Let's see, where have we gone here? Right, I'm starting to hit a wall here, troops. It's four o'clock, I've been on the uh, four hours almost. Four hours, we're going to call it quits in another ten minutes. What say you use crackpots? I can't be arsed sitting here for another hour because I'll just sit here talking and talking. But I'll just put the seat back here. This could be another snore fest. Remember a week or two, a couple of weeks ago, I fell asleep. I fell asleep on air, live snoring. I don't know what show it was, but there's a show out there with me lying there snoring. Yes, indeed. Snoring away. Uh, in fact, if you don't believe me, I'm sitting on a motor. Do you want to hear the motor gone? Hold on a sec, here we go. Hello, he's there. Yeah, I'll put the heating on here. It's starting to get a bit chilly Baltic here. Oof, it's starting to get chilly Baltic. Right, I've just put the seat back, we're in recline mode. We're in recline mode here in a tin foil covered Skoda bringing you this live show. Oh, the heating's back on, the heating's on now, we're nice and recline, can you see me? Ah, the levels are still up. Right, the last 10 minutes and you can bolt. Till 10 to till 10, we'll be back tomorrow, God willing. Hopefully I'll be able to do a show live during the day and phone some UK crackpots. Get back on the dial, UK styley. It's all well and good phoning up the US of A, chasing down number six, option six, and mad crackpots in hotels. In fact, you know, we've not actually spoke to those crackpots there. Don't clean too much and fall asleep up. Let's phone our favourite Bunny Ranch. We love this bunny ranch, this bunny ranch has got it going down. 
the favourite of all favourites, the Bunny Ranch of all Bunny Ranches, the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. It's been since off yesterday. No, it wasn't the last. Oh, we did it earlier on, did we? Off. Only two and a half hours ago. Uh, how could we forget? But we've no spoke to them. We've no spoke to them yet, so we need to. We need to see if we can get a wee chat with this lady here. Who's he's right? Hold on, wait. Hide the number. Is the number. Uh, the number's hidden. Yes, yeah, so we've got a phone. The Moonlight. The Moonlight Club in two seconds. Come on. Would you like? Where do you want the cash put? Uh, 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 yeah. Or, oh, don't forget, you take Visa, Mastercard, Discover, and oh, good old fashioned cash, baby. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> 